Welcome back guys to the series of tutorials of Microsoft Word. We have pretty much learned most of the things necessary to make a document beautiful and looking professional. So there are a few little things remaining which I wanted to cover. So one thing is formatting a table in Microsoft Word. So you can make really good looking tables in Microsoft Word and as you want them to look like there are sometimes requirements of journals about the table submission in the manuscript so you have to format your table accordingly so today we are going to talk about some of these things so I have a, an example of a table here in front of you and it is just a simple table inserted from Microsoft Word and we are going to make it look beautiful so what can we do with it um, there are quite a few things so if just a quick tip here if you want to add another column or a row you can do that very simply so if you just take your pointer mouse pointer here between two columns you can see the plus sign appearing here so if you click on that plus sign you will add another column here and similarly if you point your pointer between two rows you can also see a plus sign and if you click on that plus sign you will add another row to the table so that's how you can increase the number of rows or insert a column wherever you want later on if you forgot at start to make enough columns or rows for your data all right so and it, you, to resize a column or a row you just take the mouse pointer to the junction of two columns and it changes to this sign with uh, two lines and two arrows pointing in right and left direction so you click and keep clicking and start moving you will see that you are changing the size of one column so similarly if you want to change the size of a row you can move your pointer between the junction of two rows and then this sign appears left click and keep it clicked and then drag it and hence you can change the size of a row in in a table in Microsoft Word okay apart from that there are certain other things like borders and shading so they are very important so this is a simple table with all borders in but we want a table with only a top border and a bottom border for the titles and then one line at the end just one last border on the last line so we don't want the all the borders in between that's what we want today and we'll learn how to do that apart from that you can also make some fancy borders or make the table fancy looking so one more thing I want these um, the text of each cell to appear in the middle of the cell in the center so currently you can see this is a, a big cell but the text is leaning towards the top so it is it is sitting at the top here not in the center not at the bottom of the cell so I can do that by right clicking first I'll select actually so I want to change all the tables so I'll select all of it or there is another shortcut way of selecting all of the tables y you can see a four headed arrow here if you click on that arrow you will select all the table and when you select all the table right click on the table and go to table properties here you can see different options related to the table so that's the table generally and alignment is left you can put it in the center if you want that's the alignment of the table with respect to the text not the contents of the cells inside and then there is a tab for rows you can specify the height of the rows or you can keep them automatic and this option allow rows to break across pages I mean if the table is longer than one page then the rows will break across two pages so if you keep that option checked 
that will break the table across pages the next thing is column column tab you can also specify the height of a, the size of a column from here and um, we are, what we are after is the cell so this is these are the contents of the cell they are currently top aligned and I want them to be center aligned and you can see you can also align them at the bottom so if you click on center keep looking on on these um, this text in the cells how it will move when I click OK now you see it is the text is now in the center of the cells so similarly you, if you want you can put it at the bottom but um, the way I like is putting the text in the center of the cell so it's up to you how you like it and you can format it accordingly the next thing now we'll look at the borders of the table so again we'll select all of the table first and see some border options and then we can apply it selectively so right click on the table after selection go to table properties and come to the main table tab and here you can see borders and shading so um, this this is uh, the same borders uh, which we discussed for the page and you can just draw all borders or a box around it uh, and you can choose from various styles like for example I select this style click OK OK you can see that the tables borders are now pretty formatted and um, it looks good but we will still work on it to make it more beautiful so I'll just undo it the control Z is the key for undoing anything in Microsoft Word so you can also see if you select there are table tools appearing over here if you click them you can see all these options uh, over here which we just accessed the borders border styles line width and color etc and you also have a lot of um, table templates ready made in Microsoft Word so I'm just hovering over them my mouse pointer and you can see the preview on the right hand side in the table like you can make these kind of tables by just one click the, everything is ready in Microsoft Word you don't need to do anything so if you want one of these styles you can simply click on it and your table will look exactly like that and that's a pretty table but we'll learn how to do everything manually as well so I'll just control Z and now I want no borders around this area first of all I'll just select everything and borders no border alright now there is no border around the table now I want to draw a border on top of this line and the bottom as well so again I'll select that go to borders and select top border so first of all I can select the style of the border as well so I'll just select this line single line and so you can see that it is quite thick you you can choose the thickness of the border from here um, the normal is one point and currently it's 1.5 points but we'll keep it like this to to make it visible in the video clearly so we go to border top border now it is still the area is selected we'll again click on the border and bottom border you can see top and bottom borders are now applied and at the end of the table we'll draw another border at the bottom of it so we'll select the last row and click on borders and then bottom border yes so now you can see that your table is looking much pretty and uh, stylish like most of the journals they they have tables like this in their um, published articles so there is one more thing especially for this table like this table has repetition of data for example this is one set of data and it is being repeated here so maybe you want to separate these two 
sections by a line in between so we can do that as well so if we just select this or maybe only this area we can draw a line over here so what will we do table tools borders and right border you click on that and you draw a border on the right hand side of the column selected now you can see that you have separated these two sets of data because that's um, same data so it, it looks way easier to understand what's what is in that table and if you want to draw a line here in the first column uh, you can also do that here as well so borders right border and now you have uh, made this table a lot prettier similarly you can do um, draw borders anywhere like if you want to draw here just in this column you can draw on the left side right side top bottom wherever you want oops the good thing is there is a control Z option in Microsoft Word if you do something wrong you can just go back by um, doing uh, clicking the undo button here or the Microsoft uh, the control Z shortcut key from the keyboard all right so that was um, most about uh, making a table as you want it to look like and you can do anything with your table like draw any kind of borders and make it the way you like it to look like so if you right click again table properties you can see that in the borders or why do I go there even like I can do that from here so borders and shading and then you can choose the style of the line from here for example something like this and then you say all borders oh see <laughs> how it is looking now so you can pretty much do anything with the table in Microsoft Word it's a very powerful tool to work with tables as well and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if there are some more things remaining for Microsoft Word that would be covered in the last lect last tutorial of this series and then we'll move on to some other software I hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it like it and subscribe to channel to keep yourself updated about the new tutorials on different software Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.